Gotcha. Get back to work. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I thought that was one of my better pieces. Seriously now, I can't think of a better way to mess up a perfectly great camping trip than to have your slide quit on you while you're packing up. They're the greatest things to have, but when they go bad, they'll drive you nuts. So you need to know what to do if yours quits. That's why you must know the emergency retract procedures for your unit. There's so many different types of slides and controls that it would take forever to explain each one. I'll give you the basics, but if you bought your RV from a dealer, get them to explain the procedures. If you bought yours privately, have someone like an RV tech show you how to do it. Also, ask them to show you where the fuses are and make sure you have extras. The fuses are usually not found in the fuse panel. Now there are only three types of slide mechanisms I know of. First is the rack and pinion style, which is a long toothed bar that is driven by a gear. Second is the worm gear type that telescopes in and out. The third is the hydraulic style that has a pump and rams. The rack and pinion style most of the time can be brought in manually by turning the bar or shaft like I'm doing here. Depending on how big your slide is, this can take some time and muscle. Pace yourself. The worm gear type usually comes with a crank, so make sure you have one and make certain it's the correct one for that unit. The hydraulic styles usually have the instructions printed on them, and it's a matter of turning some valves and using a hand pump. Like I said, get to know your unit. It's good advice on all aspects of your RV. Remember, the only dumb question is the one that's never asked.